Hey everyone, sorry for crashing the video like this, but there's some extra details that Ambience has not mentioned because he has gotten sick since he recorded the audio for this. So, True Player is going to be providing the gameplay footage today. He recorded this on the Xbox, or on console, so it's gonna look a little different from the PC version, but it all functions pretty much the same, so if you're playing on PC, then I wouldn't worry too much. There's not a lot of differences. And also, I will be editing this video today, clearly, because Ambience would not let me ambush the video like this if he were editing this, but, um, that's about it, so get onto the video and hope you learn something from it. Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Saturday on FNAF 6. This night will be pretty similar to Friday, as all the animatronics will be in the building. The general strategy won't change much, but the animatronics are now quite a bit more aggressive. In order to win this night, you'll need a good strategy as well as a good mindset, which I'll talk about in just a few minutes. First things first though, if you're not going for the mediocrity ending, which I'm assuming you're not if you decide to allow all four animatronics to enter the building, be sure to buy the balloon barrel if you haven't already and place it down. This will increase your FAS rating by just enough to trigger the completion ending. Now that you've done that, you should be ready to begin the night. Playtest a balloon barrel a few times to calm your nerves if you want, and prepare for the most obnoxious night of your life. At the start of the night, turn on the silent ventilation, turn off the fan, and start an advertising task just like always. Once you begin a task, turn to face one of the vents and listen for noises in them. If you hear a noise in the opposite vent, turn to face it as quickly as you can. Once your task finishes, indicated by clicking sound, shut off the terminal and listen for noises in the vents. Once you haven't heard any animatronics for 8 seconds, restart the terminal, run the fan for a few seconds, and resume your tasks. Remember to turn the fan back off before long, and make sure the silent ventilation is still on. This strategy is very solid, and you'll be repeating this throughout most of the night. However, every now and then, both vents will be occupied by an animatronic at the same time. In this case, shut off the terminal immediately even if you're in the middle of doing a task. Face the vent for a few seconds, then turn to face the other one. Keep doing this while wishing that you had a second flashlight. Repeat this process until both vents are clear. There is still a small chance of dying here no matter what, but the overwhelming majority of the time, you'll be fine. This is the best strategy I can give you for beating this night, but there's something else that you need to understand. This night is probably going to take forever. The animatronics are going to sit in the vent for ages, enter both vents at the same time, and do everything they can to stall you out. It's not at all uncommon for this night to take nearly half an hour to complete, it's all down to luck. The important thing is not to let it get to you, and be patient at all times. Remember that you are going to win eventually, they can't stall you out forever. Being patient is how you win this night. There's also going to be a few times where everything is going well, you've been playing for about 15 minutes, then you suddenly get caught off guard and die. This scenario is extremely frustrating and it's okay to take a break when this happens. While you're taking that break, think about what caused you to lose. Be honest with yourself. Could you have done anything to prevent it, or was it just bad luck? If it's the former, identify what you could have done better, come back, and work on improving at that. If it's the latter, you are definitely going to win eventually. Come back, play the exact same way, and keep doing that until you don't get bad luck. Don't rush, remember that you have all the time in the world, and in the long run, this attempt doesn't matter. If you lose, you can just start up another run, and maybe you'll get better luck this time. As Rockstar Foxy says, you win some, you lose some. When you finally do win, you'll get to watch the animatronics burn, and trust me, that's pretty satisfying after hearing jump scare scream after jump scare scream. Well, that's all for now. Follow this strategy and try to adopt this mindset a little more the next time you play. Bad luck is just that, and it's only a matter of time before you beat this challenge or any other that you try and get good at. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers at the time I'm recording this. We might already be there by the time this video goes up, so thank you guys so much for that. Once again, huge thanks to my friends Acro and Hyper for helping out with the FNAF 6 guides. I'm going to be able to produce a lot more videos for the foreseeable future, and they'll be higher quality as well. Acro has been helping me out with the scripts and my vocal delivery of them, while Hyper has been making the incredible thumbnails for the last few videos, and everything has turned out really well. 
Both of their channels are linked in the description and cards right now, so go subscribe to them. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. You played right into our hands. Did you really think that this job just fell out of the sky for you? No. This was a gift for us. You gathered them all together in one place. Just like he asked you to. All of those little souls in one place. Just for us. A gift. Now we can do what we were created to do. And be complete. I will make you proud, Daddy. Watch. Listen. And be full. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift. Nor have you been called here by the individual you assume, although you have indeed been called. You have all been called here, into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest for you and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends, for all of us, in communication. Congratulations on completing your work week. We apologize if your situation wasn't presented to you in a completely honest fashion when you first started, but it was important that your intentions and actions be genuine. Here at Fazbear Entertainment, we value fun, family, and food. But more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning for past mistakes and tying up loose ends. Thank you for your participation. There is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now, and thank you for taking this journey with us.